In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a full cross match using uh, patient plasma and a donor unit of packed red blood cells. Um, in order to perform this, you're going to need a segment from a donor unit. I'm using OPAS. Here's the barcoded uh, tube. Uh, you're also going to need anti-human globulin. Uh, I'm going to be using Enhance, which is a low ionic strength solution that increases the affinity of antibodies to antigens. You're going to need a timer. You're going to need your handy dandy agglutination viewer and an incubator set at 37 degrees Celsius. Um, so, first off, you're going to have to make about a 3% cell suspension using your uh, segment here, and then some physiological saline, which I quickly do right here. And then you're going to need to add one drop of the donor cells to a test tube that is labeled, and then two drops of the patient's plasma. And we're going to be doing three stages here of agglutination testing. Uh, the first stage, which I'm doing right now, is called the immediate spin. And this is done immediately after the plasma and the red cells have been mixed. So we're just going to go ahead and check for agglutination at the immediate spin stage. As you can see, there is none. After this, I'm just trying to resuspend the, uh, the cell button there, nice and full. So after this, um, you're going to want to move to the next step, which is going to be um, the 37 degrees step, and we're going to add our enhance. You don't have to add enhance. Um, you could just incubate for 30 minutes, but using an LIS solution like I am uh, can reduce the time to 15. So that's why I have my timer here, 15 minutes. And then after this is done incubating, which it is now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to centrifuge the specimen, and then again check to see if there's any agglutination at the 37 degrees step. Okay, so once again, just fully resuspend the cell button, um, and we're just checking for agglutination here, and there isn't any, from what I can tell. Now, after we're done resuspending the cell button, the next step is to um, wash the cells to get rid of any unbound serum proteins and then from here I did forget to mention that we're going to need check cells. Um, I already washed them so we're going to add two drops of the anti-human globulin to the washed specimen and then mix it up and then we need to give it a quick spin in the centrifuge and then once again, we're going to check for agglutination, and this is the anti-human globulin stage. And it's important to note that you always want to wash cells before you add AHG to them, or you could get a false negative. And that's why we have check cells. So I'm just resuspending the button. And then after you're done resuspending the cell button, if it is negative, the next step is to go ahead and add the check cells to your specimen. And you do this just to make sure there wasn't any mistakes in any of the preceding steps. Um, if you forgot to wash the specimen, or didn't wash it well enough, or forgot to add your AHG, the check cell stage would be negative. Um, so here I uh, spun it in the centrifuge and I'm re-suspending it. You can see there's agglutination, which is a good sign. It means that everything was done correctly uh, for the full cross match. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.